Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport 19. Your host, maybe it was not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing today? <sighs> it has been about three days since I've recorded and that's about how long this mission has took me between life and actually harvesting these daggum sugar beets we're in field 11 and i also got a uh, heifer and field 5 fertilizing for me uh, folks it, it's just been one of those nightmares where you ever just sit there and just like i wish i was done i wish i was done Oh, I wish I was done. Yeah. Or, or some of those folks out there that works. I still remember working. You just wake up and you're like, oh, it's too early. And you hit that snooze button. And then you wake up again and like, oh, it's still too early. And oh, crap, I gotta go work today. And you just have a dreadful feeling of working. Yeah, that's what these sugar beets been like. Every time I start up the game, I forget. But, hoorah for me, I am on the last through. Um, I want to show y'all this. I have traded out the uh, seed tender for one of Stevie's. Um, it just don't hold lime. Everything but lime. And 50,000 each I uh, got our wood trailer over there loaded with some uh, those funky logs I want to call them instead of wood chipping them which I got a hundred and forty five thousand liters of wood chips here we're gonna go ahead and sell these bad boys get that money rolling in oh, oh, oh there we go um, load there we go and, and seriously folks I hope y'all are doing all right today I'm doing pretty good got a little hurting in my back and leg or right hip I should say oh, I was hoping that would unload the wood chips from the Bronx maybe oh it is I'm trying to ha cool now, I've never seen that on 17, so that's a new feature of 19 right there. That money's rolling in. Not much, but hey. Started with 4,000, I think. Not, y'all let me know. And we got 50,000 left in it. Okay, so it's all out of the Bronx. And I said it's in the trailer. Cool. That, that, that is pretty neat. Yeah, my phone's going off. I thought I put it on silence. Alright, so we got. What is that? 18,916 wood chip uh, dollars out of the wood chips right there so that's not bad it's not good but it's not bad could be better but anyway we're gonna let this baby sit right there there's our other uh, helper a I wish they hurry up and come out with the, the the names on this thing mod again but anyway um He's done. Let's go. Uh, this truck probably ain't going to hold them all. But uh, this is our truck here. I don't know if uh, that should be on the last episode. But the trailer is leased. Um, I don't really don't know the math on it. Uh, but I leased it and I think I'm still within the hour range on it. And we, that's the their truck up there. And I'm like, this trailer holds a lot more, so it'll be less trips. So that helps me out, you know. 
Other trailers like 59,000. Okay, I'm gonna have to hop back in there. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Uh, let's see. Pipe out. Whoa, don't hit the side of the truck. There we go. I'm pretty sure I probably won't hold them all. But today, folks, today we're uh, going to do these two missions. And then we're going to try to get everything back to the farm area and work on our ground a little bit. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I knew it. I knew it. Is it worth it, folks? 3000 And in our predicament, it's worth it. I'm just going to line this up right here and show you what I'm fixing to do. This truck's going to come in handy for something. Now, I don't think I made a load of all in this truck. Uh, I brought it out here just in case, but the uh, white one's been handling uh, pretty well. Oh, come on. Get it right the first time. Get right or get tight. That's uh, what some of them say around here. Okay. There's 3,336 liters in that. And our uh, machine is empty. And then we got 100,000 liters in this boy. And uh, our truck's been pulling this trailer pretty good. So when we do get the money to buy a tipper, uh, this is going to be the trailer we get. So leasing mods is a good way of telling, you know, if you want them or not. Uh, you get to feel how they handle and stuff by uh, doing these other missions. Uh, I don't know if Harvest is uh, ready on 8 or not, but that would be a good mission also. So, what I was thinking about doing, we're going to get a lot of money from this potato harvest. Um... I think I'm 97%. Oh, come on, folks. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I, I just smashed that family. Anyway, I, I'm not going to stay behind these guys. I'm going to get my speed back up and pass them. Mr. Blue does not have no patience. Neither does Tommy Miller. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, folks, I'm recording this, and I, I am a little upset. I took the kids to school this morning and came back, and I'm like, well, you know, I'm still not feeling quite right. So I lay down, took me a little power nap, I, that's what I would call it. No, I was probably asleep by an hour and a half. Woke up, and the internet's off. No, 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 it's not because of the data plan thing I got. Um, while it come together, uh, I hear the uh, while I'm talking on the radio there. Up between where I live and uh, the next town up, they had a uh, wreck uh, semi-trailer or something with... Uh, some other thing. It, it seems like everybody's all right. It just uh, the semi trailer caught a pole and it clipped the uh, top of the pole out of it. So uh, I, I think that's what happened to the internet. So it'll probably be a few hours before it'll be back on. So I'm like, I'll just record. I'll record. I feel like recording today. So, um, I thought maybe I'll do a little bit of the hauling here with the potatoes so you can see what this looks like and hopefully I can drive this thing pretty good 
Uh, I, I usually drive wild and all over the place, crashing in and everything, but you know, I'm trying to be realistic here. Alright, I'm pull up to with all the trailers on. And when you dump, uh, tip side front is what I'm on now, and you just hit the right buttons. And you kind of see it dumping on the fair. Let me see if I can swing in before it gets stopped. There's the potatoes coming out. And oh yeah, I'm supposed to take the top off. And then you gotta go and put it to the back, tip side back, and it'll start unloading the the second one there. Yeah, I just I just love that. That is awesome. But you can see our money's going up now. Because one, I done brought the amount that that person was going to sell. So we got nine and plus what was a thousand. So our money's up are pretty good. So we're thirty three thousand. I'm gonna say thirty four thousand right now, folks. And watch this. Of course, it's gonna save. And you kind of see right here, our fertilizer mission is gonna be eighteen thousand. And field 11, and this is what we're doing. You know, least cost was that. So, what we get is 46,000 instead of the 48. But if we had our own equipment, we would have got the full 48. So, I'm collect that. And yes, field 8 is ready to be harvested. Ooh, field 7. Huh, huh, huh. Folks, should we? Our ground needs to be, but these these two missions right here. Oh, that's going to the ranch. But that's pretty close. That's pretty close. I'll tell you what. Let's make this a mission uh, episode. Want to? I'm going to go ahead and borrow items for field 8. And you can see I do have double uh, contracts here. And field 7. Let's see where field 7 is. Alright, field 7 is right here. It's a pretty good size field. That's going to take a while. Especially being a little head like that. And it fills up. You got a dump on every end, so I, I think I'm gonna pass because, folks, I just done one of those. I'm, I'm gonna wait a little bit, but uh, fill eight and that that's gonna get us quite a bit of money. And I still got another load to do, so what I'm gonna do is pull this truck over. I'm gonna actually. Um, call John at the market to have him come get this trailer back and uh, he can get it from right there and um, I set that yeah I got it uh, okay so all the equipment up top has done been um, cycle through here to show y'all ooh 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 ooh, ooh. He should be all right. Um, here's the equipment we're going to have for field eight. And what I usually do, I'll get the combine, take it up there first, so it can be harvesting, and then I'll come back and get the uh, truck there. You know what I just did. Silly me, I accepted that mission. I still had a truck up there with 3,000 liters of uh, potatoes in it, or no, it was sugar beets. And uh, I accepted that mission, so those 3,000 liters disappeared. I could have had probably another thousand to two dollars. Oh well, that's where it goes. But anyway, I might just keep. You know, I think I'm gonna buy that trailer, so, uh, Here's what I'm going to do. 
let me get this right here. I'm going to pull over. We're going to go into our store. Go to Y for the garage. And then we're going to uh, X for lease items. Uh, we're going A to return. Yes. And that was by Stevie also, but I went in and done some editing on it. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to Tippers. And um, I'm going to show y'all. That was a weather update. Supposed to be getting some ice. I hope it don't come up or down that far. All right, we got 80,000. This thing's 74,000, folks. But look what it does. It hauls all your crops, uh, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane. Uh, what is that? Se a seed. You got your chaffs and stuff like that. Wood chips, silage, straw, hay, grass, fertilizer, poop, uh, pig food, and lime. This also holds lime. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, I, I can see future things. Wait, man, I'm on the wrong day, gum one. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I was on the little trailer. Yeah, the the this one here by Stevie. But as you can see, a hundred thousand, and you do get pretty much the same thing. Uh, I don't know what the difference was. Uh, okay, no difference in that. And you get lime. We can go and get lime from a. Uh, pork grain elevator and it'd be a whole lot cheaper um let's go ahead and get this thing instead of wasting time except our main color is gonna be jet black i, I just love that right there folks our rim color i'm gonna leave white uh yeah i'm gonna leave white because that looks that looks nice right there look at that folks Oh, that baby just looks, oh, it's so sexy right there. That's a sexy beast. 75,000. Um, we got to get the extensions on it. Uh, which is two extensions. And get that out of the, oh, it disappears. Okay. See right here. I just wonder if. Oh, well, well, we'll get the extensions on it. Oh, man. Well, I know it holds 100,000 that way. Let's just do it like that. Because it still says a 100,000 there. So 75,000. Let's buy this, baby. We can always upgrade it later. All right, 5,000 left, but we got two uh, missions there we got to do. Oh, that's why I want to get across that track. All right, let's get my beacons on, and of course, I'm going to hit this sign. Oops, sorry about that. I'll just take out Mr. Blue check. All right, folks, I'm going to get this up here to fill eight and start harvesting. Uh, and I'll probably meet you back here in a little bit. While this thing's harvesting, I'm going to get our uh, Samar back to contract on five is finished. Oh, oh, oh. I just hit the wrong button on the combine. I don't know what I did there. Uh, Got to stop this guy from spraying. See, field five is finished, folks. You see what we got left? You can actually save a lot of fertilizer by getting it as soon as it's finished. Now, if this was like a harvest, you would want to finish it so you can get the crops out. And that would be more money for you. But this way, when you're fertilizing or cultivating or anything like that, it's better to stop it as soon as the mission's done. Uh, I know a lot of y'all probably want to finish all of it because, you know, I hate leaving this unfinished because it, but you know, hey, it, it's it's done. So why waste your fertilizer and not get paid for it, right? 
All right, let's find my combat. Oh, there's our trailer. There's our trailer there. Now I'm probably run uh, get our truck run back, hook up to our trailer, and use it because it holds more. Excuse me, but I'm going to run that trailer up there too. Because uh, just in case, you know, from having to make an extra trip at the end, I just got to remember not to finish the mission until I get it everything sold. So, folks, it's already 20 minutes. Woo. Uh, I will be back uh, here in a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to get the other tractor back to the trees and... Uh, and uh, get this guy harvesting a little bit, and I'll be back in a snap of a finger, okay? So, see you in a... Alright, I'm back again, folks. You know, i like, Mr. Blue, you already got wood in the trailer, and you're heading back. Folks, you can chop down trees with this uh, Bronx that you don't own. Um, takes a little bit, but it does work. Uh, with the Bronx, you usually... You know, uh, take a chainsaw, cut the trees down first, and then just uh, touch it with this, and they disappear with a snap. Um, but if it's on a land that you don't own, it'll sit there and grind for probably 25 to 40 seconds before it disappears. All right, pipe out. No, I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. Uh, the trailer is almost full, but this thing holds a uh, hundred thousand, so it'll be a total of one hundred forty-five thousand. We're gonna turn it on. As you can see, I already moved the uh, big chunk out of it, and that's most of the tree itself. There, I'm gonna lower it down. Let's turn. Let's see, can we turn the front light on? My button is. There we go. Zoom in a little bit here. It just just ease up to it so it starts grinding and stop. And if you look here real close, you'll see it disappear. See how long it took for that to disappear? That's about how long it will take the whole tree to disappear if you're on someone else's land. Now then you have to do the stump again. Watch that. See how fast that disappears? Alright, our trailer is full. Which the next tree? That in there. I'm going to wait on that. We got a couple back here that's uh, already down. I probably turned the wrong way. I'm going to lift the Bronx back up. Yeah, kind of slow pulling this trailer around up on this hill. But again, um, get the money. I'm probably going to flatten this hill down quite a bit. Have some dozers or something come in here. Oh yeah, yeah. I need more power. Let me shut that off for a second. I might give it a little bit more horse. I already got two trees down and uh, just these bad ugly trees y'all y'all know what I'm talking about when I say bad and ugly I'll lower this down I'm gonna try to get whoa 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 yeah just I gotta get rid of this trailer the uh realism on and the weight and stuff on these trailers are, are right on the spot because you gotta load the trailer and try to stop that's really hard there we go now maybe I can get somewhere and I, I need a bigger tractor too folks I need an AR badly alright we're gonna do this one more time then we're gonna go check on the combine and I was right on the semi truck. I should have got the extensions because it only holds 60,000. 30 in the front, 30 in the back. Alright, you shouldn't just be able to touch this anywhere. Yeah, there you go. 
But if I touch that log, it's going to go too. And I'm going to try not to do that. But let's uh, let's go ahead and get back to our combine. I need to get him back to the house or find another mission for him. Brought this truck up just in case. But I, uh, hey, mister. Hey, 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 Heifer D. Heifer D is skipping. Oh, my goodness. I'll just come back and get those. Uh, what I'm doing is getting the short rows out of the way. And that way I can concentrate on doing the other stuff. Let's hire a worker and let's go inside. Look at this case combine, folks. I like how the seat goes up and down. But we should be going up and down too. Like if we're right here and that seat goes up, we should go up. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a sunroof. That's a light. <laughs> oh, we got our buddy seat. And uh, yep, grains right. We're cutting wheat. So that's a good good deal there. Don't want to see corn while we're cutting wheat. That would be really offhand. <laughs> But uh, let's jump in our semi truck here. You can see the front is loaded, and I put some in the back. And uh, 33, 9, 53. So it, it definitely needs the extensions on there. But uh, I love the way this truck sounds, folks. What is it? I don't know if y'all heard that, but I like that horn too. And if I had a truck like this, uh, they do make them uh, or uh, point set rice and grain. Uh, I forgot where it's at. Over in uh, point set county, they do. Uh, they take our rice from over here, and we also have a river. Uh, Mississippi River here also has a lake. Oh, Mississippi River in Osceola, Arkansas has a uh, poinsett rice and grain and we see trucks like this and they got automatic tarps that open close because it ain't that fast but and then uh, the hoppers are automatic too uh, he just they can either get out back here I know this one don't matter. This one's got the hand crank. You crank them open by hand. But a lot of times, right right under this beam right here, they'll have uh, three buttons open and closed. I don't know what the middle button is. It's probably off or on or something. But uh, you can open and close that one, or you can open and close this one. Oop, right there. And. Uh, I don't know about the tarp situation, but I think it's done from inside. And you can also open and close the hoppers from the inside of the truck also. I did not know this trailer had a beacon back here on the back. That's awesome. Uh, oh, let's get back. Uh, he's going to be needing to be dumped here in a second. So uh, let me get this bad boy turned around got them set for a six mile an hour cruise so it'll be uh, even with the combine but um, I'm gonna get this field knocked out folks and uh, probably load a couple more trees and uh, I guess I'll be back here in a little bit when it's done I don't know, we're already about 28 minutes in. I want to keep this about a 30 minute episode, so, uh, I really don't know, folks, I really don't know. I need to do a lot more tree cutting, and I can do that in between, uh, the combine getting full and stuff. I don't know, with this being a 60,000 liter instead of the 100,000, that means it's going to be more trips for me. 
I may have to use that other truck in between to swap them out. Um, wrong way. Ah, wrong way. Oh yeah, he, he's going to be about when he turns around on the end. So anyway, um, I'll tell you what, I'll bring y'all back right when I get this mission done. So y'all can see how much money and stuff we get for it. So, uh, it'll be a little bit longer than a 30 minute, but it'll still be, uh, under 40 minutes. So, uh, for me, it'll be about an hour or two, give or take, to finish this over here. But for y'all, it'll be a snap of a finger. So I'll be right back, folks. All right, everybody. Almost two and a half hours later, give or take. We are back. We got 15,734 liters left. Let me get this dumped out. Uh, get this dumped out. There we go. That scared me there for a second. All right. $9,048. To that now, oh, oh, that's, that's loud. Oh, oh, everything's dark. You're probably like, um, why is the Bronx wood chipper off and got a pile on? Well, we ended up getting a mission for it, folks. And if I'm well, you can't hear me, I'm, everybody's trying to sleep. I'm trying to get this finished recorded. You know, it, it took me that long to get it done so. Let's uh, check out our Bill 12 fertilizing complete for $8,170. Going to collect field 11 plowing completed 14223 Collect field 8 harvesting complete 21 That's because I had to use their equipment. Should have been 25. We've had our equipment. It had been that much. That's twenty one six fifty six. Collect. No, I'm not doing that. We got bailing, bailing, plowing. It's not worth going up there for three thousand, folks. That's a long drive. Bailing, cultivating, transport, transport, sowing, and harvesting. I think I'm done with the done with the goods for right now. Um, oh, wrong control. Just go down here in the morning, which is going to be the next episode. I'll go ahead and explain. Uh, I put some lime on this. Oh, that's the wrong one. All right, now it's showing it don't need lime, so that's good. I, I say, say, I sprayed lime around it. And these figures here is where the tractors are setting at, uh, trailer and stuff. So uh, our field's probably going to come out that far more. And uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna angle this down through here to join uh, these together, right? But as you can see, um, we don't have nothing in our fields, and we're gonna have to start getting uh, worked up and planted. Only thing we do have is 22, and it is uh, wheat, so that would be good. Uh, yeah, 22. Let's go to wheat. And that changes, so we're good there. And you remember on the other episode, I couldn't buy 14 because we don't have a corn head to do the sun pliers, So, um, other than that, uh, I got our pickup truck and tender seed trailer here because we had to use a little bit more fertilize. And here's where our tractor's at. And then this is our Sabmar over here with the plow. And, of course, the truck's over by the ranch, so. Folks, I'm going to get off of here for a second so y'all can hear me. We got 53,393. We're going to put 50,000 in the bank while I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's get that repaid. We are now down to 940000 so we're under $1 million again. Yay! 
Um, doing the trees, I'm going to try to get this paid off and doing missions. And plus working on our own field, so it's going to be tough. But um, I'm going to fast forward the night and uh, next episode you will see the nighttime price, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get this stuff back to the barn or our house or our fields and go from there uh any missions will start over tomorrow so i hope y'all have a, a wonderful time watching folks uh leave some comments about what you might think make it better um do i talk too much i don't talk enough uh do I sound sleepy as some of the folks say or do you think i need more energy or just, just let me know how i'm doing uh and what you like about it and I'll try to see what I can do about making them better. Uh, new year. Uh, got some new subscribers here and there. Uh, lost a few. Gained a few. So it's working out. As long as I stay above 500, I'm happy. I uh, want to reach to 1,000. But we'll get there sooner or later. But anyway. Enough of ramming around. Y'all have a, a great day. A blessed day. And I will see y'all tomorrow, folks. Later.